Susie McGeehan, the principal at Hubbard Mastery School. I guess the question is not, what does King Avenue do for Hubbard? I think the question is probably, what don't they do? They have created a partnership through human interaction. And the coolest thing is our, not all of our kids have that consistent adult, but when they come to Hubbard, those adults from King Avenue are here every week sometimes more than once a week. And those kids are so excited to see the, adult, the adults come into the room to get them to either read or talk to or you know do whatever they have planned for the day. My name is Seka Viarosko Keith. I came to King Avenue Church uh, through Stonewall Columbus. King Avenue Church has been there for me for the time when I like I was so lonely and King Avenue Church means a lot to me because it accepts me the way I am. It accepts uh, me to integrate with the new people since I've just come here in America and it has been so supportive to my life. Hi, my name is Roy Clark. I'm the executive director of NEMAP Food Pantry. NEMAP is supported by King Avenue financially. There are a lot of volunteers, board members. Uh, food is one of the big things. Uh, certainly the uh, backpacks that are done every, every summer, King Avenue has always led the way with that. And uh, it just continues. So we are very, very grateful for everything that King Avenue does. Hello, my name is Julie Hogue, and I'm a proud member of the Capital Pride Band of Columbus. I'm also the current president. King Avenue has been our home for rehearsal space, for concert space, for meeting space since our inception. King Avenue to us is really the foundation and we know that we wouldn't be the organization that we are without the support of King Avenue and we wouldn't have that feeling of inclusivity, of openness, and of being able to share the joy of music without being able to rehearse and spend time at King Avenue United Methodist Church. And for that, we are very grateful. My name is Howard Balch. Um, I've had the privilege of serving as the president of here at Adopt a House for a little over 10 years. King Avenue uh, provides financial support to here to Adopt a House with our builds, as well as volunteer support. Uh, since they joined in, and since you joined in, in 2015, uh, King Avenue volunteers have worked on building a new home and on uh, Genesee Avenue in 2015, two rehab projects in 2016, and now behind me, they're working on building a new home on Myrtle Avenue. Many lives are changed with when we build homes for some of these families. It totally changes the, their, their perspective on life and gives them opportunities they could have never had before. I'm Linda Schuler. I'm a volunteer with Stonewall Columbus. This year I had the pleasure of stepping off the largest pride in the Midwest, and I was thrilled to see King Avenue there. I was thrilled to see King Avenue and the bus there. I was thrilled to see the congregation there. I felt uplifted and supported, and our community appreciates you so much. A lot of the community calls in, and they want to keep their faith, and they want to find a church that's open and affirming. Stonewall's always happy to recommend King Avenue. You're open, you're affirming, you're friendly, you're a great church. My name is David Senabulia. I was looking for a church that can access me the way I am, a church that doesn't discriminate here and there, a church that really welcomes people with love and open hands. In King Avenue Church, I have found love with open hands. I have found what Jesus says that uh, let, let everyone come in my house must be filled. I'm Declan Burke and I live in Victorian Village. Well, I think King Avenue is really important to me because it involves everyone, not just a certain group of people. And I think this is a place where you can just go to be welcomed and then you can just have fun here and learn more about God here and just feel safe. We go to a Catholic school and I wanted to have all of my friends come with me to church, to this exact location, so that they can experience what I've been going through for 12 years. My name's J.C. Cutlip. I was living in the 
on the street for about three years, homeless. And um, I had uh, I had been in and out of programs, uh, in and out of prison, in and out of jails. My whole life just sort of fell apart. And I looked at King Avenue as a way for me to try to keep my life structured. When I leave New Life after uh, having breakfast and getting some clothing and seeing a nurse and getting a dose of religion and and a bite to eat, to come to King Avenue and to know that it's like coming to another arm of my Sunday uh, ritual. It's a good feeling to be able to go to church and know that you're one of God's people and we were all created in the image of God, which is good. And I like to let people know here that what they're doing is, is making a, an impact and a change for people and impacting their lives. King Avenue honors God. I'm grateful that I have King Avenue. It gives me hope.